My friends, welcome back to the channel. I think this is the last video that I do today. And in this video, I'm gonna take the case out of our brother, King Lava. Or King Lava. <laughs> I hope I pronounced correctly his name. He's a Christian counselor that uh, felt the wrath of the racist, Christophobic, hateful towards Christianity, Tory party. Tories, that they claim they are inclusive, that they claim they, they respect everyone, suspended this Christian counselor just because uh, he expressed his opinion about pride. Uh, this, uh, you know, the LGBTQ pride, uh, uh, he said, uh, what this Christian faith teaches him, that pride stands before fall, that's what he said. Uh, the Bible speaks this, it's not his personal opinion, uh, that's what the Bible teaches. And uh, the racist, Christophobic uh, Tory party, that shows once again how broken the political class in the United Kingdom is. All of them. All of them, they got so broken and uh, I don't know what will fix them, if, uh, if it's possible, anything to fix them. That's why, yeah, as Christians, he, King Lava, he had the courage to involve himself in politics, things that he, he thinks that he can make a difference. But me, I'm the kind of Christian that I don't think that we can salvage the, this filthy, evil political system. I don't think we can salvage it. I think as Christians actually we shouldn't involve ourselves in this. This world, this politics belongs to them. Us, we have different ways to change the world and that is the prayer. Second Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 says that if my people who are called according to my name will humble their heart, cleanse their hands, fulfill their wicked ways, then I'm going to hear from heaven and I'll clean the land. It doesn't say that uh, a political party will clean the land, heal the land, give hope to people, uh, I don't know, create a welfare for everyone. No, it's not. So, um, well, kudos to King. Uh, I support you, I love you, brother. That's why I did this video. And I'm gonna post his explanation. He went uh, on uh, GB News, he spoke with Jacob Rusmok. If I Remember correctly his name, uh, another politician that is a Christian. So uh, let's see this interview. I want to see it. And then, uh, if you guys have any comment, you can comment on that. But that's what I say, and I'm gonna say it one more. Tories, Conservative Party, are racist and hateful. Christophobic. They hate Christians. They won't dare to do something like this to anyone else. But to a black Christian, they do that. They do that. Because they think they can. But in this case, I think they mess up with the, the wrong person. So let's go here. Mm, let's see this video. Five minutes video. I'm going to check first the sound if it's good. It's all biblical tree. Yeah, the sound is good. <laughs> so, let's see this, shall we? 5 minutes, 0, 3. 3, 2, 1. Let's go. H horrible time for you. Absolutely. You put out this tweet. Um, Actually, you said to me earlier because you were angry, so you were suffering from the sin of wrath. Righteous anger. <laughs> but the, the Bible says um, uh, that pride cometh before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. So you were only quoting a biblical authority. I was indeed. Um, it was all biblical truth. Um, I took to Twitter wanting to express my, my beliefs and, you know, what my position is on, what the Bible's position is, I isn't to add, on sin. And, um, uh, you know, the morning in which I viewed this, uh, you know, some tweets, uh, quite perverse scenes with naked men shaking their, you know, their their bottoms and things like that around children. They were watching uh, 
six year olds you know it, it, it disgusted me and it sort of brought a righteous anger within me and I uh, to Twitter and so what happened when you did this you just put out a tweet saying that you thought pride was a sin yeah that, yeah. that was your tweet did you tweet anything else so I tweeted the the tweet read like, when did pride become a thing to celebrate? It's because of pride, the archangel uh, Satan, while he fell. Um, uh, pride is not a virtue, but a sin. Those who have pride to turn to, uh, you know, Jesus Christ, uh, well, repent, turn to Jesus Christ, he can save you. Uh, that's what I tweeted. I did some follow-up tweets uh, with some clarifications, essentially basically saying that uh, I'm not a hateful person, I don't discriminate against anybody, all people within my constituency are treated fairly and equally. And then what happened next? You were suspended from the Conservative Party. How did that happen? So, actually, the first um, cancelling was from Groundwork Northamptonshire. They, they contacted me uh, you know, quite, quite soon after, and they uh, sent me an email saying that uh, you must resign immediately. This was the local Tories? This is Groundwork Northampton. Yeah, okay. no, this is Groundwork Northampton. So, so this isn't the Tories at this stage? Not at this stage. They came second. Um, Groundwork Northamptonshire, they mentioned that um, I must resign immediately. You know, it's, you know my position is untenable. Um, and uh, they did it by email, quite brutal. I, I've known him for two years and uh, they counselled me in, in that manner. Then the leader of the party, um, of the local party, contacted me and said that... Uh, I, um, and he, he suspended me for 21 days on instruction by CCHQ and that CCHQ wanted to unusually investigate me directly, um, not the local party. OK, because CCHQ, Central Office, denies this. They say that you were suspended purely by the local party. Right. But that's not your understanding? No, no, it's not my understanding at all. And I'm sure the leader will, will also back this up. Um, he uh, you know, gave me a call this evening and again just reassured me that it is the uh, um, centre office, it's, it's the CCHQ. And uh, there's an email as well from CCHQ that, uh, uh, that's sort of attested this as well. And what reason is given for suspending you? Um, they haven't necessarily given me a reason. They're just saying that because of the seriousness of the allegations, they need to investigate this directly. But what is the allegation that you've offended people? <laughs> yes, I think it's uh, the allegation. There's been um, complaints that I've been hateful, that I've been discriminatory, which is against my belief as a Christian to start off with. I love all people as the Bible teaches me to. Um, and I was merely sharing a, an expression of Christian view, which is my right to do so which is the traditional teaching of the Christian church, is indeed has biblical authority yeah. in it, and as I was saying in my introduction, is in the catechism of the, of the Catholic Church. Yeah. Um, the, the, uh, um, so you have been suspended for a tweet. You haven't broken the law, as no. far as you're aware? No, not you're at You're not all. accused of breaking the law? Not at all. You're not accused of inciting violence? No. Nothing no, of this kind? Nothing at all. Um, I did ask the question as to why I'm being suspended, and... Uh, I just got told that uh, it's their prerogative to suspend me for 21 days with no allegation whatsoever as part of the party rules. And so um, have you been suspended from Twitter or are you still on Twitter? I'm still on Twitter. So yeah. Twitter hasn't thought that this no. was hate speech or under any of their guidelines it breached any of their guidelines? No, no, not at all. And were you abusive to any individual? I wasn't in the slightest. You just slightest. made the general point, there's no reference to any individual. Not, no reference to anybody whatsoever. Um, my, my, my tweets were purely to express a biblical Christian view because I'm a Bible-believing Christian. But it seems that uh, people took offence to it. And what's quite incredible is that people who don't believe in sin at all took offence to this tweet. Uh, if their moral authority isn't God, why do they take offence to it? And why am I cancelled? It's my. You that know, is a views. very good question. If you don't <laughs> believe in Christianity, why are you worried? Um, what About Christianity sin. teaches. Absolutely. That's good. That is a very good point. But thank you very much, King. Um, the leader of Northamptonshire Council said, North Northamptonshire Conservative Group are an inclusive group. We continue to be committed to reducing inequality within our communities and creating a fair and inclusive environment for everyone. We fully support our LGBTQ plus community and we support all communities. So this was the video and uh, you've seen once again as I said many times, how truthful it is that the, the political establishment hates Christians. Tories, I know that other parties are better, but you see here a party that is clear hateful towards Christians, hateful towards black people, hateful towards our Christian values. And uh, they do not support freedom of speech.
freedom of speech. Just like a uh, king used to say, how can you be offended uh, by something that you don't believe, do not believe in? You don't believe in sin, you don't believe in God, and still you get offended. You get offended that the Christian faith has this opinion about pride. That uh, means Christian faith, uh, what we should change our opinions in order to accommodate and affirm uh, you or anyone else. <laughs> Shame on Taurus, shame on every single politician that thinks that uh, they can do that to ask questions. That was the video, that was my comment. God bless you all. Thank you so much and um, support King Law. Pray for him. He is our brother, he deserves it. We love you, brother.